Chapter 4, Strong Acid, Strong Base, Class Life Sciences, Part 4, Strong Acid. At the end of this session, students should be able to define strong acid, specify the characteristics of strong acids. Then part 6 of chapter 4, strong acid, 6.1 definition. When hydrogen chloride HCl in gaseous state is dissolved in water, it ionizes to form a solution called hydrochloric acid. Then when HCl in gaseous state it's called hydrogen chloride, when it is dissolved in a solution it's called hydrochloric acid solution. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. The table below shows different hydrochloric acid solutions and the pH of each one. We will study uh, these solutions of HCl and we will deduce from this study the definition and the characteristic of a strong acid. Since hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. We are given the pH of four solutions of four different concentrations. We will complete the, this table by calculating the concentration of H3O+. We know that concentration of H3O+, equal 10 to the power negative pH. Since we are given the pH, then we can reduce the concentration of HCO plus in first 10 negative 2.3 equals 5 10 negative 3 mol per liter. In second 10 negative 3, in this solution 3 10 negative 3.3, 5 10 negative 4, and the last solution 1. Then negative 4. Let's study the hydrochloric acid solution of Ca equal 1, 10, negative 3. In this solution, concentration of H3O plus equal 1, 10, negative 3 mole per liter. The equation of ionization of hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride in this solution, HCl plus H2O give HCO plus plus Cl minus. One H plus from HCl is transformed to H2O molecule. The H2O becomes H3O plus and Cl minus. At T equals zero, the concentration before the ionization of HCl equal one, 10 negative three mol per liter, zero zero water in excess at the end one variation minus x plus x plus x uh, x is the concentration of HO plus at the end of the reaction it remains 1 10 negative 3 minus x for HCl for HO plus 0 plus x x for Cl minus 0 plus x equal to x X is the concentration of HCO plus, which equal to 10 negative 3. Then it remains from HCl 1, 10 negative 3 minus 1, 10 negative 3. That means 0 for HCO plus 1, 10 negative 3, and for Cl minus the same, 1, 10 negative 3. Then at the end of the reaction, HCl ionizes completely because the concentration of HCl left equal 0. It is completely transformed into HCO plus and Cl minus. Conclusion, HCl ionizes completely in water. Then the reaction of HCl with water is complete reaction, represented by one arrow. Therefore, we can deduce the definition of a strong acid, is the acid that ionizes completely in water. The general equation of 
ionization of a strong uh, acid or, and a, exactly strong mono acid since our study is restricted or limited to only mono acid or monoprotic acid. A monoprotic acid or mono acid is represented by HA. HA plus H2O give H3O plus plus A minus. This is the general equation of ionization of a strong acid, strong mono acid. The reaction is complete one arrow. It gives one H3O plus and A minus the anion of the strong acid. For example, hydrochloric acid HCl plus H2O give HCl plus plus Cl minus. In fact, the uh, hydrochloric acid solution is H3O plus plus Cl minus. We have no HCl in the solution since it's completely ionized into HCO plus and Cl minus. The same hydrobromic acid that we are, it uh, ionizes in water to give H3O plus and Br minus also. We have no in the solution HBr, it's only H3O plus and Br minus. Also nitric acid HNO3, it ionizes to give H3O plus and NO3 minus. We have no HNO3 in the solution. We have only H3O plus and NO3 minus. Now, characteristics of a strong acid. Based on this table, if we compare the concentration of the acid and the concentration of H3O plus in this solution for 5, 10, negative 3 mol per liter Ca, H3O plus also equal 5, 10, negative 3. For 1, 10, negative 3, 1, 10, negative 3. The same for 5, 10, negative 4 and 1, 10, negative 4. We can deduce that in case of a strong acid, concentration of H3O plus is always equal to the concentration of the acid Ca. Then, a strong acid is characterized by concentration of H3O plus equal Ca. Now, pH. Since pH equal negative log concentration at your plus and concentration at your plus equal to Ca, then we can replace H3O plus by Ca, then the relation becomes pH equal negative log Ca. Then in case of strong acid, pH equal negative log Ca. After dilution 10 times, the pH increases one unit. If we compare solution one with solution three, from 5, 10, negative three to 5, 10, negative four, the dilution factor equal to 10 times 5, 10, negative three over 5, 10, negative four equal 10. And solution two with solution four also F equal 10 negative 3 over 10 negative 4 equal 10 times. Then upon dilution 10 times from solution S1 to solution S3, pH increases from 2.3 to 3.3, it increases 1 unit. And solution S2 to solution S3, Four, up on dilution 10 times, pH increases from 3 to 4, that means it increases one, 1 unit. Therefore, after dilution 10 times, the pH increases 1 unit. Up on dilution 100 times, pH increases how much unit? We know that F equal C over C prime, the concentration of the all solution of the concentrated solution over the diluted solution. In this case, equal 100 upon dilution 100 times. Then C prime equals C over 100. 
therefore p h prime equal negative log c prime which equal to negative log we replace c prime by c over 100 c over 100 equal negative log c negative log c over 100 log a over b equal log a minus log b that means log c minus log 100 multiplied by minus the expression becomes negative log c minus times minus plus log 100 log 100 is log 10 power 2 100 is 10 power 2 negative log c is the ph of the initial solution plus uh, log 2, 10 power 2 equal 2 log 10, log 10 equal 1, then plus 2. Therefore, upon dilution, ten, 100 times pH of a strong acid increases to unit. In general, Upon dilution, 10 power n, that means 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, pH increases n unit. Upon dilution, 1,000 times, that means 10 power 3, then pH of a strong acid increases 3 unit, and so on. These are the characteristics of a strong acid. Application 6. We measure the pH of an aqueous solution of an acid HA of concentration Ca equal 2.5 10 negative 3 mol per liter. We find that pH equal 2.6. Show that HA is a strong acid. Solution. We have a solution HA of an acid HA of concentration CA equal 2.5 10 negative 3 mole per liter and pH equal 2.6. First method, we from the pH we can calculate the concentration of H3O plus, which equal to 10 negative pH equal 10 negative 2.6 equal 2.5 10 negative 3 mole per liter. By comparing concentration of HO plus to the concentration of this acid, we deduce that they are equal. Then concentration of H3O plus equals CA. In this case, when concentration H2O plus equals the concentration of the acid, then the acid HA is a strong acid. Other method, we calculate the minus log CA and we compare it to pH negative log CA equal negative log 2.5 10 negative 3 equal 2.6 negative log CA equal to pH then we can say pH equal negative log CA when pH equal negative log CA then the acid is strong then HA is a strong acid. Then to show that if we have the concentration and pH to show the acid is strong or not, we have two methods. First method, we calculate from pH the concentration of HO plus and compare it to CA. If they are equal, then the acid is strong. The other method, we calculate negative log CA and we compare it to pH. 
if negative log phi a equal pH, then the acid is strong. Ap another application, application seven, a solution A of a monoacid HA of concentration C1 has a pH equal to 2.4. From A, we prepare a solution B of concentration C2 equal 0.1 C1. The pH of B is 3.4. Specify whether HA is a strong acid or not. Then we have a solution S1 of an acid HA. We have a solution S1 of C1 and pH1 equal 2.4. We prepare another solution S2 from S1 of concentration C2 equals 0 0.1 C1, pH2, the pH of the solution 2 equal to 3.4, or solution B, solution A and solution B. Solution A and solution B. Then, we have C1 and C2, we can deduce the dilution factor after dilution or upon dilution, we know that number of mole of solute is conserved. Therefore, dilution factor F equal the concentration of the uh, initial solution, which is C1, over the concentration of the new solution, which is C2. Equal C1 over, we replace C2 by 0 0.1 C1. We simplify by C1, C1. It remains 1 over 0 0.1, which equals 10 times. Then we have 10 times dilution. pH increases from 2.4 to 3.4. It increases 1 unit. When a, an acidic solution is diluted 10 times and its pH increases one unit, then this solution, this acid is a strong acid. Then, upon dilution, or after dilution, 10 times the pH increases one unit, then HA is a strong acid. This is the end of part four of chapter four, a strong acid.